Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video. Today we're going to be going over the Black Zone in Albion Online. Uh, so the Black Zone, as you scroll out, hit uh, the button M on your keyboard. Scroll out a little bit, and this is the Royal Continent, the Umbrash, the Glamour, and the Solidian. I'm not per for sure on how do you pronounce those. And we got Mirapools and Blin Bray. These are all guesses, by the way, on these uh, spellings, so... Bear with me. Uh, so up here we got all what we call the black zones. Uh, this is basically where you can get PvP'd at any point in time and it is full loot drops. So you don't want to die out here. Um, but out here there is more rare spawns, um, more rare nodes, and a lot more pretty much space for you to do your thing. Uh, it is a lot more dangerous, but this is where you're going to be spending the majority of your time uh, if you're a hunter or like a gatherer of some sort or you know fishing at a higher tier because this is where you can only find your tier 7 and tier 8 um, places to go and gather or you know do dungeons tier 7 and tier 8 are locked into the black zone you won't find any tier 7 or tier 8 spots in the blue yellow or red zones so I do suggest coming out here, getting yourself a little bit familiar with the areas. Uh, so like I'm in Carleon, Carleon right now, and let's go see where we can all go. So I can only go to the red areas, which is Elmwood, Alderwood, Gravelight Marsh, Clay Hill, and Flintstone or Flint Splat, Flint Slice Plain. Um, and that is because I am kind of locked to my portal of Carleon. So. What I'm going to want to do, so let's just see real quick. I have a inventory full of PvP gear and I got the Siphon Energy um, ready for PvP as well. And I do have the Adept Skinning Knife. And I'm going to be trying to skin out in the wilderness, or I get a habit of calling it a wilderness, but it's the Black Zone. I will be skinning out in the Black Zone. Uh, so let's look around and see what is the best for skinning in the Black Zone. We got a Tier 6 here, Tier 5 here. Um... Let's see if we can find any like tier fours or below for Carleon. I don't believe there's any right next to uh, the Carleon spawns. There's a tier five here and tier six. Tier five might be the best we can do with the Carleon uh, spawns. And I keep changing how I'm pronouncing Carleon and I'm sorry about that. But so right here, let's just go to Clay Hill. Let's see if they have any, um, if they have what we need. So we're looking to scavenge uh, some leather. And they don't actually have a supply of leather here. And you can check that up when you're checking the black regions or any region. You can check up at the top to see what they all contain. So this is the rate of enchanted resources in this cluster. It'll show you the uh, percentage as some are a little bit higher than others. And you can see what kind of resources they have. So this is four to five or four to six um, wood, four to six on stone, and four to six on mining ore. So let's take a look and see if we can find any tier fives on the scavenging i think elmwood has some yes it does so elmwood has four to six um and we got that 13 percent again i believe so i don't know see if they're all 13 percent. it's actually kind of interesting to me i so this has an 18 percent. it is a tier seven so i think it probably goes up based on the tier so now we have a 22 percent on a t8 so it does go up based on tier of the area i believe so but basically, you're going to want to kind of scavenge around and see where you want to go in the Black Zones by clicking on the map. And you can actually see the map before you get there. Uh, if you come in on this, if you come south, uh, southwest, or southeast, sorry about that. If you come in southeast, you'll be coming in right here. And you can kind of scout out the area uh, knowing where you're going to be coming in the Black Zone. Black Zone is very important to kind of know where you want to go. So, like I said, I could go to, uh, I think it was Elmwood. Let's take another look real quick. It was Elmwood that I wanted to go. So let's head over to Elmwood. And are you entering PvP? You are entering a black PvP zone if you... Are you sure you wish to proceed? Sorry about that, guys. I'm struggling to read here. All players are hostile. All players can attack and kill all other non-allied players. When players are killed, all equipped and carried items are dropped or destroyed and can be looted by anyone. Killed players must respawn. So, when you die, you will respawn um, to the home city, I believe is what it is now. It used to be near a city. Uh, I believe it's the home city. So, basically, where you visited last, uh, what city you visited last, which obviously would be Carleon for me. 
Um, and I always hit yes just because I like to have that uh, pop up and realize, you know, wait, maybe I need better gear because it is kind of a realization for me. You know, I need this gear. I need that gear. So when you come out of this gate, you actually can only go back into this gate. So it's very important that you kind of stay nearby this gate. Um, and when you come out, you actually have a, like a bubble shield. It's called like a, a lot of people call it the bubble or a shield of invulnerability basically. So where you can't get attacked for uh, a certain amount of time. So right now, nobody can attack me as I have this shield or I won't take damage at the very least. And so we see down here, this is very important to realize. We have a group of, a that looks like a bubble of about 20 or that probably 30 or 40 players, uh, at least 20 in this area, which is very dangerous. You don't want to get caught there. Um, because you will die. There's three or four skulls showing people have died in that area. Um, just showing you where not to go on the map, basically. Um, so if I see this, I would honestly want to move the other direction instantly as that is not a place I want to travel and get destroyed. Top players um, of the game. Most most people PVPing in black zones in groups uh, are not, is not safe for you to go near. Um, they're all in high packs of groups that have a lot of experience uh, playing the PvP game out in the black zone. So I'm going to kind of stick near to the gate uh, as I do have getaways. Going a build that gives you getaways is very important. Um, I am for this video just kind of messing around so I don't have the best build. I have kind of a PvP build uh, because I want to take on a guy if he comes near me. I'm not going to run away unless it's you know four or five of them. So. I do like the idea of being able to challenge another uh, PvP or to a fight if he comes near me. So I do have uh, kind of a PvP build going on here. Um, and I am risking a lot with traveling with the undead cape, but it does get you out of a lot of uh, sticky situations. And so I would suggest bringing cheap gear or going uh, a PvP build. A lot of people also like to go something that lets them get out of these sticky situations. So that would be something like, um, I didn't try to go to Ashwood. Let's see if what Ashwood's got for us. Uh, it does actually have four to six, so we can just stay here and this will be fine. It's actually farther away from the PVP uh, player. So this actually might be better off for us. We aren't right next to our uh, teleporter, which I just need to memorize kind of where that is. So I'm gonna get off the beat and pass path a little bit here. Uh, so I don't get attacked by these players coming out of here. Um, and it looks like these bears are tier 5, so I can attack these tier 5 bears uh, bears, and see if I can get some leather from them. Let's kill one of these, start the leather, and then we're going to go into some gear that will be safe for us to travel with. Um, allowing us to get out of some of these sticky situations. As you can tell, I have right now, if you look at the bottom, I do have um, my PvP build, but I have some getaways. So I have an ambush. Turn invisible for 8 seconds, right? So this is the assassin jacket that is letting me turn invisible for 8 seconds. Uh, you do less damage, but you also are invisible. Let's be honest, that's very hard to track down. There is a little bit of counterplay to that. There are um, some some equipment in the game that will help uh, players kill you if you are invisible, but it is, it is very strong for getaways. And then I also have the cleanse, which is very, very important if you are... Uh, running just a gathering build and you're just trying to gather and stay away from PvPers, the cleanse will remove all the debuffs. So if you're getting stun locked in a lot of these PvPs as well, I, I suggest you go the mercenary hood as it is very helpful to get away. And uh, just so a lot of you guys do know, uh, you can press B, right, and go to your destiny board. Uh, and let's go to my scavenger. So my scavenger is right here. Yeah, here we are. My scavenger... Um, and I can see what's usable. So I have the adept skinning knife. I have the adept skinner cap and Basically all the adept skinning gear is available for me to use uh, I'm not going any of it and it does give you like that ability to use skills that would 100% help you with gather material and staying alive as you can tell um, These are strictly to help with that scenario And so I'm going the PvP build instead of the gathering build they will both have that chance of helping you out and I really suggest you guys go either a PvP build or a gathering build. Don't stick to just going random, random builds that, you know, won't really provide you anything uh, upon getting chased down by a PvP player or anybody of uh, danger to you. Uh, as we get stunned by the bear here. Could have used the cleanse, but we're not going to pop it. Um, so I'm just out here going to be gathering uh, some leather for a while, some hide. And this is probably the safest way to do it. Um, and I like to go in the black zone as you have a lot less 
uh, competition for your resource. And it just, it is a little bit risky, but I also like that, um, that ability to PvP players every once in a while when they come up to me. I like the chance to attack them. And another thing I would suggest is bring in something fast, a mount that's fast. I wouldn't bring an ox out here, most likely, um, unless you really don't care about what you're picking up. Uh, but if you don't care about what you're picking up, you drop it in the first place anyway. So I suggest bringing a faster mount, um, something that you can just hop on. And if you want to stay near your mount at all times, that is very helpful. So you notice I'm staying inside the ring of the mount. Um, very helpful to keep your mount there so you don't have to press uh, A and, you know, remount. Uh, you can just jump on your horse for that faster mounting uh, ability or process. So... This is just a few tips of the Black Zone as we review some of the Black Zone areas. Wow. I hope you guys learned a little bit from this, um, and I hope you guys appreciate some of your time in the Black Zone. I would like uh, for some of you guys to realize that this is a game that is somewhat, uh, somewhat new to me. Um, I have started playing about you know three weeks ago. I've just started making Albion videos, and if you guys have some you know some things to add, just add them in the comments so other players can kind of figure out what they're doing as well and kind of understand what's you know what works for you and what the Blackstone's all about. I know this is a uh, a new kind of a new kind of game for me to review as I'm I'm so used to playing Rocket League or you know sometimes back in the day I played a lot of Halo. This is a new kind of game for me to go over and review. So I I would appreciate some feedback and some help in the comments below. And I'll guys I'll see you guys next time and I really appreciate the support I'm be getting on these videos. And like I said, I'll see you guys next time with the next Albion or Rocket League video. Thanks guys.